hey, hey. You know who it is, but maybe you don't know what time it is. It's drawing time, and this intro is going to sound weird because I had to record it twice. So I want to talk about workflow. Let's jump in. Let's... Um, all the tools I'm using are, are stuff I've used before in my videos. If you're curious, you can kind of like look back through and see those. Um, I'm using the uh, aluminum mechanical pencil, parallel pens with Noodler's Heart of Darkness ink, and a Pentel water brush. Um, for my scraps of paper, these are these are scraps of watercolor paper that I've trimmed off of larger sheets. You, when I cut them down for comic books or uh, uh, postcards or whatever. I have all these little extra scraps of paper that I don't know what to do with. So I've started using them as, you know, almost like disposable palettes. And this kind of clicked with me because I'm using the same paper as a palette as I am to draw on. So testing my washes is going to be a one-to-one -one because I'm using the same paper. So that, that made a lot of sense. And it's something that I never really, like, never really clicked with me before. But thinking about my workflow in this way, thinking about how can I do little things to make my draw drawing experience easier and and not only that but faster, uh, and and you know I used to when I would do ink wash I used to put the the ink in a palette and I used to put water in one thing ink in one thing, and then I would mix them in all the little little compartments and they'd be like you know kind of like different uh, mixes of ink so I'd use them for different things but what I found is that I would always start with a messy palette. I would leave my palette messy from the last time I used it. I would have to clean it and then I'd have to set up the ink and get out all my stuff. And it was a whole process. But, you know, I've already got these scraps of paper laying around. So I'm thinking that instead of just using a palette, I'm just going to use these scraps of paper. So I've kind of figured out that with the parallel pen, if I put some of that ink on the page and then get it really wet, it'll it'll mix out into a pretty decent light wash like around 30 to 40 percent and you can kind of see as I'm like experimenting with this you know putting different amounts of ink and different amounts of water I'm I'm kind of building this like mental database of like what that balance is like how much ink and how much water is going to create what tone uh, of ink wash and I'm giving you a lot of examples for for me personally because my discoveries with these couple drawings are are, are, are what has led to this this idea and, and kind of like why I wanted to discuss workflow because I think, you know, when you're talking about style and you're talking about how you draw, there are so many variables that affect that, uh, just a, like millions of them. And, and I think a really easy way to kind of narrow that down, narrow all those variables down is to really streamline your workflow. Uh, and I also am super inspired by my partner, uh, Jelana on this. She's drawings with a G on social media and she's amazing, but she has this like she, She's gotten lately into this workflow where she like cleans her whole desk and gets all of her stuff set up and then just busts out like crazy amounts of art and that really inspired me because I'm like wow, you know like cleaning all your area up and getting all of your stuff set up is is a great way to prepare yourself to draw that's taking down on like the mental strain of having like a messy workplace it's even taking down on the strain of like ah oh, man i need this one pencil where is it well, i know exactly where it is because i've already cleaned my desk and everything's in its place um, i am a messy artist and i've got stuff all over my drawing desk and so when i'm looking for something sometimes i will spend minutes like literal minutes looking for something that i need to use where, you know, I could have spent that time just drawing on the page if I would have taken the time to set it out beforehand. So when you're talking about workflow, it's it's important to think about all those little things, like how you can set yourself up for success. And sometimes that's using the same piece of paper as as a test as, you, as you're drawing on. That seems like a pretty obvious one to me, but I just figured it out. But it's so many different things. So I'll make more videos about this, but, but more than anything, you know, I, the, the point is to just think about this stuff. These are just a couple different examples, but there, there are so many different ways that, that you can really look at the way you do things and be like, well, how could I do this better? And while it makes sense to spend time just drawing and practicing drawing and doing that over and over to get better, little things like changing your workflow, streamlining your workflow, just cleaning your desk once in a while, that stuff can make a difference too. So uh, this has been a little bit different. Uh, I've done a lot of videos about like the tools and stuff, but this is a little bit more about process and stuff like that. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks as always for watching, and also equally as always, you're amazing.